so. I say that this is square in. We need probably a hammer and punch. We need a screwdriver or something to bend this out of the way and then yeah. a massive stinking crescent if you got it. Okay, let's do it. I never remember which way I'm supposed to have these. What is it? I never remember which way I'm supposed to. Shouldn't matter with a square. But I just don't want to. If you round that off, then you have two pipe wrenches. I don't think so. Yeah, there's no way to hold it. Yeah, we're gonna need another pipe wrench so we can grab onto like one of these. Is that flank heavy? Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Hmm. If even if it's a small little short one that would fit, I could probably. All right, heat man. I think I got the wrong bite on her. I think you do. Actually, so say let me turn it to where it's away from this. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't want to slip and hit that. All right. All right. Ready? Yep. <clears throat> uh, all right i think it might be time to grab some penetrating oil that's some penetrating oil and the uh <clears throat> piece of one inch steel gas pipe yeah Oh, goodness, bud. Uh. <laughs> hmm. I'm a little bit stronger than you. Are you? Well, you want to give her a, a heave? Not right now. You give her a heave. Push down on that. Push See if she can get her butt. What? I'm, I can just do that other one on, the, on that side. Out, buddy. What? Get a little close, get a little further away. Oh. Ah. <sighs> Map gas. <laughs> Let's make sure we're not forgetting anything first. That locks off. I mean, I know sometimes with shafts and stuff, things can be backwards threads. That's not, is it? No, it has to spin that way. Come off because that way is right's tight and lefty loose in here. We aren't missing. What's here? Yeah. Yes, there is no play. So this one has to be backed off before. If that is even a nut, I don't think that's a nut. I think that's just probably another spacer or something. Yeah. How did you get that pipe on there? What? How did you get that pipe on there? I slipped it on there. Yep. Is this one too little or too big? Use two small sledgehammers and tap. 
Cat says he's using a 36 inch pipe wrench with a three foot cheater pipe. Soaked it in WD-40 <laughs> and heated it with torch. No luck so far. When that moves, all those move. Nothing. I don't think there's much of nothing. This guy said he had to heat the square nut to a dull red. Uh, kept working back and forth to use penetrating oil. Look at that one. Oh yeah, but it looks almost like ours, to be honest. Yep. Did I move it? I don't think so. I moved it. I broke it. You did? Yep. You broke it? Ugh. He's a He-Man. Now you only have what? Three more? Nope. This should not be the only one on here. I mean for the other axles. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you want another pain in the Oh, yeah, those. Right on this thing. Are those on the inside? Yeah, those are on the inside. Oh, God. Oh, uh, yeah. How do you get to that? Uh, prayers. <laughs> oh, Mason got it. He's a beast. He's the strongest muscle on the body, which is why I get. Now we'll be beating all these things off here because they're going to be rusted on there. You think? Oh, yeah. These little gnats are mosquitoes. They're all mean nuts. Well, as long as you're here, they uh -huh. won't bite me, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> You know, that's probably never been off before. Nope. I mean, if you're just tilling a garden or a field, you're not going to break these very often. No. Well, the problem is, is like after taking a deeper look, that one whole side of your field, that one whole straightaway is just nothing like concrete. Yeah. So much rock in it. Yeah, I tried to get you to pick them up. Okay. So, we need like a, more of like a mallet now. Probably. <laughs> yeah. What do I do with that hammer now? Let's look right there. Shit. Mom. Mom. I am. Would you come on? Oh yeah, I see. It's a, I think this is a square shaft. It's moving. Yeah, very very slowly. A little gap. Let's spray some more PPL down in there. Yeah. Good enough. Well, good news is the last time Tyler was here, he said he'd donate a few discs. He did, didn't he? Yeah. I think he might his offer. Yeah. He's been messing me about every other day. Wanted to, wanted to hit the turn track. You can come out and ride, but I won't join you. <laughs> yeah, I told him that. I was like, dude, I haven't slept. I don't feel like it. Yes. I think you put a little bit of effort in. This is your private race grounds, too. I asked him, I said, uh... Do you want to go to Mother Creek Friday? Practice? Practice day? Oh, I can't this week. I'm really busy. Yeah, but you want to ride at the turn track every other week. He wants to ride at the turn track, but not go to Muddy Creek. What a pain. You got up there, didn't you? On my feet. 
feet and foot. Well, be very careful. Always keep your hands on something so if foot slips, you can hold yourself with your hands. Nice. Rusty farm equipment. Yeah, you didn't even need my help. You could have done this weeks ago. I could have, yeah. <laughs> it's not like barging into people's stuff. Why are these discs touching? Uh, we're about to figure that out. Uh, so it can conveniently make it harder for us to do this. That's why. Is it? Did we adjust something? Probably. We can probably take that bolt out and because this right here is just a rack. You can take this pin out and that bolt off, and this whole rack will come off. What a pain! A little reluctant. I'm going to go to make this tractor go. You just start it up and put it in gear. Go? Yep. Without touching a, without touching a throttle? Or a gas it has a throttle. It has a, it has a gas pedal down there on the right. But you don't have to hit it as long as you only give it extra gas. Tractors just go when you put them in gear. Nice. Stuck. Good news is when you have to do this again, it'll be all freed up. Yep. Because if we keep tilling the moto truck, we'll be doing it a lot. Yeah. Well, how about you not go to the areas that have rocks in it and we'll take... That'd be nice, get the loader on this tractor and get a rock rake. Get some people out there to move some of them would be great. Not much left of that one, was there? So, is that a spacer or... Some dirt. Can't really tell. This is the bearing. Oh my god, my. That's a spacer. Look at the chicken. It's a spacer like a with what used to look. It's a spacer with what appeared to. I don't know if that's a bearing. I think that's just grass wrapped right around the outside. <laughs> that's a bearing. It is very much so space with the grass wrapped around the outside. Okay. So, want to take all of them off or? Well, let's say we need to at least take this one off. I mean, yeah, because, well, the, yeah, the only thing we got to do to take the rest of them off is pull that shaft through, through somehow, but. It, we know what the, mm, find the best turn of events for getting that out. Yeah, how are we gonna slide the shaft out? That's, yeah, let's go that way. It, is it has to go that way? Yeah, it has to go that way. Because if you look here, this is a square end head. I feel like. Which is why it sucks, because it has to go so, and it's blocked by the other. I was trying to think of a way I could do it without having to take these disc lines off. Unless I'm stupid, but I don't think that's the case. It definitely does not go that way. What? Don't say that. What? Don't say stupid. Yeah. <laughs> So we can, is this, what's that? We could take this off, which would completely just unbolt this and slide it out a little bit. And after we can get the pin out, the shaft out, or we can loosen these clamps up and do the same thing. 
I think it'd be easier just to loosen up that one bolt we can easily get to. Yeah, I was gonna say it just depends on spray some MPPL on it. I should probably get a crescent wrench for that, huh? Yeah. Get that. Get one big good heat. If you can't do it, then we must probably resort to kicking. Uh oh. We're gonna need a socket or something on the other side. Uh, yep. Or a little bit of bleeding. So you might be better off with a small one. Probably. Dang it. Link falls on me and kill me, just know one thing. I regret nothing. <laughs> We'll figure out if I have it the wrong way around. I have it the wrong way around. Okay. A little dyslexic. Okay. All right. One good heat. So you might just let it come back and hit this, maybe. Mm. Mm. Weston, come here. Hand me that gas pipe. Oh no, the gas pipe. Thanks. Nope, hand me the other pipe. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Dirt bikes are just the help of everyday tasks. Mm hmm. Or you got it? No, it's just I finally got to where the wrench was. I need to get a little more on it. Let's let it come. I finally got it to where the wrench was uh, stopped. And so was the whole body. All right, ready? Yep. Hold on, you're spinning back here. All right, try that. Maybe. I'll have to reset my wrench. Okay. Yep. Ready? Yep. Gotta tighten it up some. Yeah, go figure it's not the end bolt that's gonna give us problems. Yeah. In it? Nope. 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 That might be better with a socket. Yeah. Breaker bar. Instead of a crescent wrench. If you got one that big. Break your bar. Break your bar. Yeah, he's gonna go get the break your bar.
One and three eighths is just a tad too big. Well, let's see here. <clears throat> yeah. Is that like sh like stripping it? Oh, scary. Oh, I don't think it's stripping it. I'm just curious. We strip it, we're really going to be in an interesting spot. You can just take, take a torch or something and cut it off, you know? Yeah, good point. We could just come in with a bolt. I think you probably already have a bolt. God! Yeah, this one ain't up and down, so using the uh, human weight methods will be a little tougher. Get back out in there. All right. Ready? Yep. Tough. Oh, let go of it. Hold on. You're right, you're good. Side must be moving down. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, they all? Almost. It is now. Get out of there. Be hot. Hot. Mm. Whew. I think we gotta do all this four times. Yeah, well, again, this is after it's done. Actually, we don't. 
Actually, no. actually, yeah, we don't. Just we don't, two toms. We don't need to do these backs at all. That's we could it. probably get by without doing that other front immediately. Is that gonna work? Uh, I think so. It's. I think it's a little heavy there. Can I let it? Yeah. I can. Yeah. There we go. Bring it this way as much as we can. Good. I leave it right there. Bye, Dad. Yeah? Cool. Let me change the battery in. Mm-hmm. Right now? Sure. Change it. Gotcha. This thing got strapped in all the way. It's okay. Is it moving? I don't know. I'm freaking out. I think so. A little bit. You got like a bigger either sledge or a dead blow or something. Or I can keep oil on like this. I got a big sledge. Looks like it's moving. It is. I watched it. All right. Yeah, we're going to need a bigger hammer. Yeah, I'll go to sledge. All right. But don't get a hammer. I need a bigger We have the one special piece of equipment. Keeps, me, keeps it from maybe a little bit easier to beat, it, beat the shaft out. Out. Everything's loose and it's coming out. You get a call for subdivision here, man. All right, slow down. It's about to hit that inner disc on the other one. All right. So. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. There you go. It's a shame it didn't loose up a little bit more. We might be able to get off that way. Right. Oh, oh mushroom. So say, will that just no, that won't stay because it's a square shot. Yeah. yeah, you can see that nut is flattened. Business as usual. Let me get the belt. Uh oh. I can get a bite on it like that. Yeah. Hey, 
Clears another disc. Ah, be all right. Okay, I don't want to screw this up. Yet. My heart's good. Your heart's broke. Okay. Well, hmm. what can we think about here? What can we think up? Probably didn't help that your pipe wrench was still on the ground. <laughs> I'm just beating it through the spacer. Yeah, I mean, the way it's made to work, you should just be able to pull it right out. But yeah, our problem, just fall right out. yeah, but our problem is it's. It ain't gonna pull right out. We should have coated. Well, that wouldn't have helped. Let's take a minute and think. You see what this takes. Yeah, you're supposed you're supposed to pull out. Space is supposed to fall out. It's supposed to. You are. Mm. That's a good bite now. Wrong way. Put it in this end. I'll put this right here. Perfect. Hit it. That's going to keep coming out. Yep. Should have like a. I'd be crazy to hold that with my hand. Yeah. Do it. No. Uh, once it moves a little more, it probably will stay in there. Just a little bit more. Whack. 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 Where are we going? Yep. Slowly but surely. We better be. Oh, we still got way to go. Never mind. I was gonna say we better be careful. I don't know if that'll fit through the square hole in the thing, but we still got ways to go. Oh yeah, so I got a few, a few more inches. Okay. to this first spacer. Over where? Where, I think we're here. Where the spacers? No, yeah. we're gonna be farther than that. You think? Yeah, the punch went oh, in yeah, like yeah, five you're, inches. You're right. 
So I was going to say, will that spacer fall out yet? I don't know. Yeah, but I think because of the way the C cups, it's like C cuffed in there. But because they fit in there like C shape and kind of lock in with each other. So I can already tell what we can already tell probably what we should have done yeah it's just whatever we needed to do to take this off which are what these two clamps yeah really yeah that's what we should have done was just zip those off pull this whole thing out here in the yard or somewhere but I don't know because then then you don't have anything to hold it while you're hammering yeah, I mean, we don't really have, like, unless this, to really, we don't have anything to run down the hole to keep beating on it, so it's. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, in a perfect world, yeah, it would have been, we could have just pulled the thing off, slid the shaft out, but with having the hammer on it, it might be better that it's still on here. Yeah. How far were that little brass one reach? Where's it at? What the heck? Alright, what are you doing? Now that oh it's over there, it's under the behind the jack stand. Uh one more out of it. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's getting easier. Maybe if we hammer. Yeah, Don't hit that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm free. I'm free. Dang it. May have a collar or something on it locking it into that bearing. I'm trying to get this out. Where's it? Something. Is that a negatory? Doesn't seem like it. Well, keep beating on our punch. Don't have much left. Yeah. Beating on 
spicy now. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, come along anywhere? Mm-mm. No? Not anymore. Not anymore? That would be nice, though. So. Yeah. I, mean, I don't care to pick one up if we end up going somewhere soon. There's probably half of our problem. Seized right there. Yeah. Now hit it on your side. Now hit it on your side, like right, like you were. So if each one of these spacers is seized, that's why it's so hard to beat out. Yeah. There's another disc. What's left of another disc? What's left? <laughs> yeah, every little piece we get off should make it that much easier. Oh. Yeah. That'd be too easy. Too easy. No chance. Oh, <sighs> P-Man. <sighs> Give it the old wampus. <sighs> what is that? Oh, it's mud. <laughs> what is that little spacer? <sighs> now you're some kind of farm equipment expert. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> Look at all the mud that's in that one. Oh my God. Importance of washing your equipment. So, let me ask you this. Yeah. Can you not just take these bolts out and this whole piece come out? No bearing, yeah. What do you mean by that? I mean, couldn't we have done. Uh, no, no, that wouldn't have helped. No, it wouldn't have helped much. No. Hmm. Well, good. Uh, the hammer and just keep beating it back. Possible. Hey, look at that. We are geniuses. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Holy cow. Here come. It's just everything's in a, in a weird bind now. Huh? All right. What else you got to eat in there? Pop, Kool-Aid. You get me any chips? Water. There's a bag of chips right here. Huh. The little chips. Um. Holy crap. There you go. Freak. <sighs> I have to pull all this 
stuff off of it. Mm hmm Oh, what a workout. Several gallons of water later. Supposed to be bent. Nope, it's not supposed to be bent, and that's probably why it was fighting us. So we'll definitely want to take a take a torch and try and straighten that. That's not good. There's no bueno. Yep, it's got quite the bow in it, bud. You don't think we bent it, do you? Do you? Would have bent it by hitting a rock or something. We'll just take a torch and put it in the vise and straight it back up. As straight as we can get it. Yeah. It's probably honestly why it was fighting us coming out. So. There's one. I think that was the worst, worst of them all. By far, the backs are pretty fine, and this, this front's, it needs four or five done, but that one was bad shape. And if these aren't bent like that one was, it might, these might come out easier. Just yeah. Stay optimistic here. Yeah. Well, what's your next plan of action? You want to figure out what sound of disc you need? And Hmm. You get some, or you want to pull all? You want to finish taking this down? Get the rest of these discs off. 